guys in today's video I have a very cool DIY that I really want to share with you which is this Orbeez pencil case if you'd like to check out my other DIY school supplies like this snow cone pan or this watermelon sharpener or this galaxy Oreo eraser be sure to look for the links in the description box after you're done watching this okay let's get into it first you need some Orbeez so let's grow some with a bowl of water Wait for about 3 to 4 hours till they get all nice and plump before draining out the water. Now that your Orbeez is ready, you can move on to the next step which is to make the actual pencil case. You'll need two equal rectangle pieces of vinyl like these. We're gonna use the first piece to make the Orbeez pouch, so fold it in half first. And then cut out a piece of parchment paper and fold it in half also. Now use the parchment paper to seal the vinyl with the help of a flat iron. Here I'm running my flat iron back and forth for about 15 to 20 times to make sure the vinyl is well sealed. Repeat the same steps on both sides. And be sure to leave a small opening to put the Orbeez in. Before sealing it, make sure you get as much air out as possible. Okay, now clean the opening with a paper napkin so that there's no water residue before sealing it with your flat iron. Once you're done, you end up with this pretty Orbeez pouch. To turn it into a pencil case, bring out the other piece of vinyl that you cut out from the beginning. Put it on top of the Orbeez pouch like so, then seal both sides and the bottom using the same method with your flat iron and parchment paper. Once it's nicely sealed, flip your case over and use a piece of velcro to make a closure for your pencil case by gluing one half on the Orbeez pouch and the other half on the flap. And that is how you make an Orbeez pencil case. Okay guys, I hope you like this idea and will give it a try. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't for more videos like this. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.